Good morning. It's time for day five of our bike tour between Prague and Vienna. Uh, today we're going to leave Line at the train station over in Snoimo, which is about 20 kilometers from here. She's heading back up through Berlin up to Sweden. And I think it's gonna be a hot one today. It's already really hot and it's uh, only like 8 o'clock in the morning so yeah uh, and unfortunately we start today with a approximately like seven kilometer climb up the mountain we came down uh, yesterday so uh, see you out on the road Why not start the day with a 150 meter climb? <laughs> uh, like you can see behind me the landscape is pretty flat around here. So it's just like the village we stayed in last night. That's down in the ravine. Everything else is kind of up on a plateau. So now we're just following this road. We were gonna take off at the top of this hill, make a right, and follow the greenway, but we are Taking a short detour so we can follow Line to the town of uh, Snoimo, where she's uh, waiting for the bus that takes her back home tonight. We think can be some sort of road work ahead since there's a dead end sign but the freeway or highway over there has like a shoulder of maybe a 10 centimeters or something so we don't want to take that road either so we're uh, taking a chance on this one and see where we end up we just left the town of Snoimo where we said goodbye to Line. Felt kind of strange <laughs> to see her go home there but at least she's in the right town so she only has to wait for, for the bus and not have to navigate by herself. So I think she's fine. Uh, so now we're just going along. As always following the border between Austria and Czech Republic. Uh, the next big town is called Mikulov, where we probably are gonna stay tonight. Mikulov is also kind of a hub for the winemaking here in the Czech Republic. Haven't really seen any vineyards yet, but I'll guess they're coming up or if I can just look to my left now and actually see some over on the hill over there
Heading over to Coop for supermarket stop of the day. Judging from the outside of this supermarket, this looks like it's gonna be a like really big one. But as soon as we entered, we realized that they only had like it was kind of like a 7-Eleven store or something. The only thing I found that was like worth was pre-packaged baguette and some water. I 